Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, we are not using the um, usual PNG, I'm sure you'll. Hey, did you get them working? We'll see. I did get them working. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry, I just want to click that because then it'll go down to its normal volume. Um, so I did, hmm. in fact, get them working. Don't I forget to screen share, honey. Oh, Although we are still missing a deadly. Yes, I don't. I don't know. I know why you're smaller, also. Um, but I didn't have a chance to fix it before stream. Ten months already. Oh, it's fine. I don't ten mind being smaller. Ten months already. Oh my goodness, Rogo. Ten months already. Thank you for the ten months. Thank you. What? Thank you for the ten months. Thank what? you. Thank you for the ten months. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, um. Yes, I, I know. I know we're missing deadly, so we're not gonna start start yet because I did have a few things I wanted to show everyone. Anyways, so let me. But yeah, I did get it working. Um, ish. It's still a little scuffed. Um, but that's okay. And Arya is smaller than everyone else, but that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I know why. I know why. So it's fine. Oh, never saw scuff here. Yeah, exactly right. We, we never saw scuff here. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking um, about? Um... So, yes. Let me actually, let me do that. Look at that. That's better. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, so I did want to introduce something new. I did tell everyone we would have something new and exciting if you wanted to use your channel points on those. Is it there? Is it there? Can I show everyone what no, it's there? No, you cannot show. Can you calm God down? Calm God damn it. Calm. It's not there. Calm <laughs> down. So many points. Calm down. Calm down. So, we have a new Ooh. channel point reward. That is very exciting, but I'm warning you now, chat. If you, before I put it on, if you misuse it and spam it, I'm gonna put a limit on it. What Don't she means is, Aria, if you Aria, yes. but click this button. <laughs> for those in Aria, Horizon, Ruku, those of you who are here pretty much all the time, if you spam it. You know it, what I use my points for. That's true, I, I, Ruku, I don't have to worry about. Oh, the rest of you. Oh, yeah, um, she's got to worry about the two people here to have over yeah, 100,000. If you spam it, I will put a limit on it. So don't make me do that. Don't make me angry, okay? You'll be good. Okay, you'll be good. So, in case you didn't notice the thing that popped up on the bottom left hand side of the screen, let's make a wish. <laughs> oh wow, for that to be the first one. God damn it. Man, I could have hit it. <laughs> that would have been amazing. God damn it. <laughs> so, some of you will realize you will be seeing characters we haven't met yet. <laughs> Yes, there so are characters I... from all three games so in here. So let me let me go about the reasoning. So, um, one of my one of a really 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 good friend and a really good artist, um, Luex, is the one who created this wonderful 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 gotcha. Um, created this wonderful gotcha that works. Wonderfully. I'm very excited about it. I'm very happy about it. Why did you not work? <laughs> oh, maybe if you do it right after the other, it might not work. You can refund yourself the points and do it again. Bam. 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 Even stream gotcha don't like me. <laughs> yeah, even stream gotcha doesn't like you. 
Oh wow, Harry doesn't like just you. Just okay, rise. fine. I just, I just won't do it. it. Maybe it's and me. you broke it already. Maybe I broke it. Hold on. Yeah, it it it, it went off twice. That's it, went... it. It's done now. That's done. That's all it was loaded. <laughs> no more truth bullets loaded in the gun. Is a good boy. Her pets. Oh, sorry, you know her pets today. Let me turn that off. You know her pets today. You can you can pat me in in um here actually you can pat me and here here you give me pets. Pa 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 Go to bed, Pergus. Go to bed, Pergus. Go to bed. Go to bed. Um, but yeah, so Galax created it. Uh, I really love it. Aria did help because it does include characters from 2 and 3, but don't worry, there are no spoilers. Status yeah. update, Deadly's on our way. Status update, is on our way. Hey, it worked! So yes, you were... More than allowed to spam it during breaks, spam it during the timer, spam it at the end. Do whatever you want with it, but during the stream, if it gets to be too much of a distraction, I'm gonna put a limit on it. And then it's not gonna be fun for anyone. So don't make me do that. Entice exhaustion. Mm. So yes, we are just waiting for a deadly now. I love a deadly, a deadly deception, a deadly trial. So, I hope you guys have fun with it. You're more than welcome to have fun with it, please have fun with it. But Ooh. also, be careful. There is a deadly. Hello. A deadly donor. Didn't There's a deadly the donor. Because... Today is Discord chaos for me, um, and I was having an eye on the group, but not on here. That's okay, Tadley. That's okay, I should have put it in the group too, that's my bad. That's my bad. That's not way. Anyways, I will be ready to go in with you guys in just a second. Oh, you're good. I'm just... There we go. I changed all of your pictures. Aria is still small. I will fix that later. <laughs> That's um, okay. I don't mind being small. I will fix that later. I am the small. Because I can't fix it right now because it would require a lot of effort that I can't do when I'm streaming. Yeah, don't worry about it. So... I have my crazy tongue. I'm happy. Yeah, you have your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Just deal, deal your tongue. Yeah. Enjoy your tongue. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I have I have my um my despair eyes that I'm very, very Yes excited about. And very, oh shit. I just wanted some goddamn water. I just leaned over to get some water. That's all. Does that really have to count? Did you lean on the button, honey? No. I didn't even see anything. No. So. I don't know what you're yeah, talking about. I... No. I, 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 I saw it. I'm, it. I'm watching stream, but it was on the Wait. which game save would you like to load first? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You lie. You lie. <laughs> Stop lying. <laughs> oh, yes. So that's why so you should so. push on the uh, stream to Discord button oh, yeah. as well. That's a, that's a true statement, huh? That's a true statement that that should happen. Panic! Panic! No! No panic! No! No! Panic! 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 No! Panic!
working? Ooh. Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. We are all good. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me get my aqua real quick, sorry. So, um, for those of you who are not here, or obviously, I mean, if you're not here, you probably shouldn't be here right now because this is literally the end of the game. Um, so, yeah, you probably shouldn't be here right now. But, <laughs> for those of you who are here and who want to remember, um, Queen Junko, Queen Junjun, my queen, the love of my life, the ultimate despair, well, the other love of my life, <laughs> the ultimate despair, has revealed herself, and also, uh, yeah, she is batshit crazy. So there's that. Yeah. She is fucking amazing. She is. The, the game with Junjun is to play count the personalities. It's great. <laughs> I thought that was the game to play with you. Well, I'm yeah, sorry, that's, that's it. But... Joke. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> I know that was a pretty apt and amusing joke. <laughs> I'm just saying. I think we're up to double digits now, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, we up to ten. I think it's ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, anyways, yeah, we're playing Count the Personalities uh, with Junjun, who, unlike Arya, uh, does not have dissociative identity disorder. No, she's just insane. Um, she's just straight up crazy. She's just, she's just insane and very easily bored. Yeah, <laughs> even with herself. Even so, with herself. So yeah. that's where that comes from. Yeah, she does not have DID. No, she's just insane. <sighs> Anyways, let's continue, shall we? Let's do it. Yes. Are you deadly ready? Let me adjust the volume on this because. Is is deadly ready? I am. You are. Okay, cool. I just wanted to check and make sure that you weren't still AFK or something. Because <laughs> you know, the deadly big brain. I'm okay. eating peanuts. Oh, the game was quiet yeah. for you. You said. Was the game quiet for you? Was the game quiet? Well, when I heard that little that tiny bit of voice, yeah. But oh, the voice was really, Yeah, I know the voice is really quiet. I don't know what to do with it, because it's... Um... That's as high as it goes. It doesn't, I don't, I don't know, I can't do anything, it doesn't go any higher. I mean, in Discord you can turn up the Discord. Right, you, can turn, you can turn up the stream on your end. Stream. You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer, so how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories. Then you can start gloating. God, I love her so much. I love her so much. And the other reason why we wanted to wait um, was because Arya... Um, I had to wait because I knew Arya put the mastermind in here, but she didn't tell me who it was. So... I couldn't, so I had to wait to reveal it until we found out who the mastermind was, so I could actually. Because she was like, don't do it, just on the off chance someone pulls the mastermind, don't do it. I was like, because knowing my luck, the first time I click it, the first thing that'll pop up <laughs> is a fucking mastermind. So, that's why I took this long. But please, 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 please go show. Show the wicks some love because he really does deserve it. He did a lot. He did a lot. Damn straight. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to solve all these mysteries. And then we'll have our victory. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken? And those interviews? It must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams! No fair! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint I love her before. hairpins. I love her hairpins so much. So, the, the way, if anyone's seen art... Uh, randomly, the way through, there are three ways to tell the difference between Junko and fake Junko. One is those hairpins. 
because Mukuro as Junko has like a little bunny. Oh yeah, and a bow. bow. Uh, two is the freckles, and three is oh, that's my favorite. Right. She doesn't have freckles. Junko doesn't have freckles, Junko but Mukuro does. does. And the other one is, uh, I mean, not viewable right now because she's holding Monokuma, but Junko's boobs are <laughs> grantedly quite a lot bigger than Mukuro's. <laughs> Wait, are they? Yeah. Junko <laughs> has the booba. Thinking back to what Monokuma told us. The memories that were stolen from us, and what they m must be related to. The founding of Hope's Peak Academy. Exactly. I got it! You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then, let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Oh, shit. I don't know, what was the first motive? The first motive. Um, was the motive was the thing with her, uh, with with her. Uh, oh, the video. Idol group thing. Yeah. Yeah, the videos. That's what okay. I was about to be like. The motive was trying to figure out who what. Okay. Theme for the motive of Monokuma. Monokuma gave us those DVDs. Well, my DVD was footage of my family. And Saika's was her and her friends. They had a dream they all shared. As for the first murder, the motive we were given was... Love triangles. <laughs> it's love triangles. So connections, I guess? Yeah? I think that's the only one, because the world is uh, always having international the relationships. The motive you presented yeah. us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. Oh, so those are the people you cared about most. Your family. For example, your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Oh my god, her boobs are bigger. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Don't notice it until you look, do oh, you? Yeah. Do you actually look at the two oh, of them yeah. and you look at the differences between oh, yeah. I have a question Junko for you, Arya. and Mukuro is Junko? I have a question for you, Arya, the Again. person who assigned these characters, Arya. <laughs> yes, honey? Do you notice something similar between Junko and Hina and the new one that I'm gonna play oh. into Akane that are oh. all very similar with each other? Do you notice something in common with those three Just, other than I play them? Is it hairstyle? Hang on, yes. hang on, hang on. Yes, it's the hairstyle. Uh -huh. 100%. I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Yeah, chat. it's it's totally the hairstyle. I'm convinced. But uh, do you guys want a, a super sneak peek for later on? Because uh, oh, here God. is here is who one of the one star will be playing in number three. Number three. <laughs> oh dear. Think about you will. Oh, my God. Why? Why? <laughs> Am I of why are mine all the ones that have booba? Am I, am I, that's, is that all I'm good for? It's just boobs. Is They're that the ones mean? with great personalities, honey? Sure. Is that is that what we're calling them now? Personalities. And they have an interesting plot. Two personalities. <laughs> Although with with that one, you you'll see when we get there why you've got her. Okay. 
I'm still con- I don't know. Because it, it would have to be you or me. That's a character I could never ask Deadly to voice. So, it had to be you or me, and I know you'd have much more fun with her. I mean, you also say that, but have you seen your live TV model as well? What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the monochrome of playing. I don't know what you're talking about. Anywho, so it's time for the next question. What was the theme for the second motive, you guys? For the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes uh, from Monokuma. Yeah, the secrets. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed. Your worst I love how that's the worst secret in his past. <laughs> I, now, that I, now that I know it's Junko, I'm just sitting here like, man, that's all Junko could come up with. Yeah, but you have to, you have to wonder how he is, because that's all Junko could come up with. <laughs> like, what kind of person is he? Can you imagine He's blank how and she, boring. Can you imagine how <laughs> yeah. she must have been trying to find these secrets? Like, everybody else, she's like, ooh, I can totally use this to blackmail them. Ooh, and you killed your like, brother. Ooh, you're a guy. Oh, you have Makoto. a personality that's a serial killer. You wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. I was drinking water. Everybody should hydrate. Where's my hydrate blub, Eric? So um... my blub. The meaning of what? So the theme. So the theme this that this So the theme that time was The meaning of life. Definitely. What in your bed is definitely the meaning of life. Uh -huh. It uh -huh. was our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time the theme was Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! <laughs> and the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? I'm gonna guess six cases. Relax, relax. So I'm gonna okay. guess six questions. On to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? My theme for the third murder was... They're themed now, you guys, like birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say money. The reason Celeste Money. turned to murder was... Money. Yes, she yeah. wanted her European castle with her handsome man. In quotes. She wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome I'm men. I'm just saying, not a bad dream. Like, I kinda get it. I mean, yeah, not not a bad way to not have things to be aiming for. Right, I not a bad dream. could do without the men. You could have women. Yeah, they're interchangeable. Yeah, you could have women. <laughs> True. You could have handsome women. <laughs> so that time, the motive for murder was popularity. I got it. A new outlook. It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Seek and destroy. Hell yeah, you got it again. God, she's fucking crazy. I love it. Goddamn straight, it was money. Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy-ass Sakura's crazy-ass death? The motive in the case of Sakura's death was... What was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It has to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of the motive in the fourth case was... Betrayal? Oh, that's Black actually... Or blackmail. I was, th I was thinking blackmail or betrayal. Yeah. Oh god, that is one's actually... Is it blackmail actually... or is it betrayal? Oh. I think it's betrayal because I mean, everyone was like, yeah. didn't trust Sakura. I was gonna say yeah. trust, but trust is not up there. Trust isn't up here. I mean, it's the opposite of betrayal, though. 
Yeah. All right, well, it's gonna tell us. It's gonna tell us for wrong. I got it! No, nope, hooray! Yay! In her case, it was betrayal. Yay! Oh my god, I love my despair eyes. Can we just look for his... Oh, look, I'm crazy. Look, I'm crazy. I'm passionate. Yeah. I'm passionate like, like Junko. I love it. <laughs> ta da ta ta da ta Precisely. Aria, you see? Aria, definitely did these all these characters on with no reason <laughs> he all dropped his mushrooms on her head again oopsie poopsie he's not gonna want to touch her to take them is he that's why he's looking so he's like oh god oh god i dropped my shrooms but 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 ooh, ooh. nah i'll leave them <laughs> not worth it once i revealed sakura's betrayal that led to everything that came afterwards Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How oh, painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationship? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. Betrayal, my queen. I love her so much. Queen Jun Jun. I'm happy when I get it right. <laughs> I love her so much. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the seed of despair. Seed of despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the seed of despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. Yep, How much that's... longer is this stupid speech of yours? <laughs> that's the whole thing with light cannot exist without darkness uh -huh. and vice versa. That's yin yang right there. <laughs> Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are There's discussing your... the memories. What I'm trying to say is... Yep. The seed of despair <laughs> is closely just like that. tied to your own yep. memories. Yep. Yep. <laughs> How so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway. Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. That is why we took your memories, so that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Mundo. Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? I mean, they did agree to it after all. True. They must have done it for reason. Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Yeti slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. That seems sus. All of a sudden. Yeah, it wasn't. 
the white horizon. I was gonna say, wasn't the reason why they chose to keep these prodigies in the school because the outside world would go into absolute shit? Yeah. That's what I remember. So. <laughs> the outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something no, like she means the there. land of make believe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Please tell me number two isn't this bad. No, he he is Please. not. The yeah, protag in number two also is not the lucky student of the class. Yeah, I noticed he that. Noticed that, that. Yeah. Yeah. that is really yeah. interesting. But yeah, so, he is. so what bullshit am I gonna pull out my ass to stay alive now? At least this yeah. one makes sense. He's just lucky. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, that that's would be a, the question, a, won't it? I, guess, I mean, I it is the question. Have, it was the ultimate on, question mark. You're going to have so. to rely on mm -hmm. plot armor. Although there is one thing I want to hide from the viewers. The big thing I want to hide out from the viewers. There's going to be a big, big plot twist. So you all really, really should come next week when we start number two. Because there's going to be a really big plot twist. Oh, uh, that yes. Thing. The thing, yes. Thing. That thing. That thing. There's going to be a really big plot that twist. Yeah, I understand why you say big thing now. Yeah. Yeah. Big. big. <laughs> wink, wink. Big. Thing. Um, that even Deadly has no idea about. <laughs> so, that should tell you something. That Resident Detective doesn't end anything. I feel like I know it, but at the same time, don't know it. I feel like I know it, but at the same time, don't know it. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just like, what did I miss? I mean, you can you can post it in the group chat later, but anyway. Now, are you interested in what I have to say? You wanna see what's out there? <laughs> I wanna see too. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> Now then, open sesame! Behold, the world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. my Koto right now. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> it's just that look, isn't it? That, I can't, that I can't scrolling stop. image. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the Statue of Liberty has a stake on it. It's the Monokuma of Liberty. Monokuma Tower. I like how in uh, the, the X Dog they just pull up the fucking ball with the head on. I, I call bullshit though because the Monokuma swing still has its nose. True. <laughs> True. 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 It also has toe beans. I wanna get a plush Monokuma now. I just snuggle and hug. They do exist. Oh, I want one. I want one. I want one. What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> 
better kick your brain in the ass, because it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. God, I love her so much. <laughs> She's so crazy. What's wrong with her? I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Because now it's time for the final class trial. Oh, it's time for the final class trial, guys. That not what we were already doing? I guess the final final class trial. What was genocide check? What the fuck happened outside? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it I comes to that crazy confusing other, so. video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember oh. anything. That's all right. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. Mm. Smart. Actually, she might remember. Well, the only reason I know is because isn't isn't that how you said it kind of works, Arya? Yeah, they don't always share memories. Yeah. So just because, yeah, Toko just because doesn't. Toko doesn't remember doesn't mean Show doesn't. Show? Uh, Genocide yeah. Joe. Yeah, sure. sorry. They call her Show in the bloody yeah. in the other versions, and I prefer it as opposed to calling they her. Call, they call they call her they call her Show in the anime as well. Yeah, it's That's just in this it. game. Yeah, yeah, so I I always call her show. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only reason. That's the only reason I figured that out was because I was like, oh yeah, I remember Aria telling me about this a long time ago. Which actually, that was the very reason why Aria knew nothing about the surprise, and why I could still get a message from the altars to them. Ha ha. Ha ha. Using her brain against her. Ha <laughs> ha. What it worked, didn't it? Didn't it? Moving on. <laughs> Who might remember? The other Toko. Genocide Jack. What? The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Good night, Lassie. Thank you very much for stopping by. Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. <laughs> no She's just like, okay! Okay. <laughs> She can oh, wow, if you though. insist. <laughs> She's like, well, if Biakia asks. Da, 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 da. It's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer. <laughs> I love that so much. It's like my favorite of her lines. Just, da, 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 it's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer. <laughs> I'm your friendly neighborhood serial killer. How can I help you today? <laughs> yes, I have a coupon. I'd like to redeem it, please. Ah, of course, of course. As long as it's a cute boy, we're all good. I don't know, it's a coupon. Cool <laughs> <laughs> Did you say coupon? Yeah, a coupon. She just gave in like it was nothing. I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, hi. 
Hi! <laughs> I love her so much. I love this face of hers too. Why is her tongue still out though? Doesn't it ever get dry? I don't know, ask Gene Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Enough! Just look at the stupid screen! Aye aye! Roger, you got it, Captain! Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something early? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? Uh-uh. Arya, this sounds like you. Oh my god, she's the worst yeah. liar in the world. Yeah, this really sounds like you. <laughs> More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Wait, no, what's Gene Simmons? Tell me. He's the lead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's the lead singer of the band Kiss. Oh! <laughs> and he literally has a joint tongue that looks like that. Yeah, I've heard of the band Kiss, I just didn't know who the lead singer is. The tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? <laughs> Maybe I can help you remember! With a kiss. Oh, there you go. <laughs> question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event. What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now. Is now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. Copy that, darling. Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history! And as a result, in basically no time flat! Did anyone actually mind us telling what the fuck happened it instead happened, of just yeah. repeating over and over again it was the biggest and most awful <laughs> screen? Yeah, but what happened? It was the biggest and most awful event in human history! If I was in that room, I by now would have punched Jill in the face <laughs> just to get her to answer the goddamn question. The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. <laughs> that's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Oh, here exactly. it, then you know it's bad. Thank you, my boy. Well, We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Ah, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. But I like this the one the most. End? <laughs> it's, it's I like the world. professor the most. I, like I, 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 I love them I just, all, but yeah, I just, that, like how, I just oh, like how I love like them all, somewhat really soothing love them that voice really sounds. I just hate that this whole conversation seems to be happening on the mental level of five-year-olds. <laughs> yes. Calm down. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Yes. There's yes, it no does. need to panic. 
Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Oh yeah, they really are bigger. Well, quite noticeably. Now that you mention it. Oh. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami? I wonder. Um. I wonder. I wonder. It's D. Correct. Well done, peasant. But I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting. I couldn't help it. Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. S stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? <laughs> this one. This is my favorite. I love her so much. You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Uh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! Every time I see, I mean, like, an F-bomb or an S-bomb or any ago. swears, I'm just like, are we sure we're playing the right game? And then I'm like, oh wait, yeah, it's... Because <laughs> I'm just not, you're just so not used to, like, <laughs> seeing it throughout the game. If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Have Idiot. you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right, it sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wait, what? Oh, that's a face. Two years ago? What does that... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this chick trying to say? I'm glad you found that emote, Horizon. I love it. <laughs> I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. Biakia is just shattered. <laughs> Yeah, is horrified. The, the memories yeah, that was so broken at this point like, that his like, brain has like, just it's died. It's like Malfoy being told that there is no Malfoy. 
anymore. He's just like... My father will hear about this, but wait. He won't. Done. But Biakuya, uh, you're an orphan now. Pat, pat, pat. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Junko says is true, if we first came here two years ago. But the rest of us only remember getting here within the next few weeks or so. So the memories she took from us. The entire past. Our life is at home. If we accept that what you say is true. Then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. No, 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 no. I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another <laughs> correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? We've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! So he's even older than we thought. <laughs> I want to think that too. I don't want you to believe it. That's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe it. I want it to be impossible. But if it's the truth, then we have to accept it. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. Hello, wait. The notebook is... Heroes. Heroes. The pocketbook is Heroes. Yeah, the blue photos are the photos. But I think it's gonna be the notebook. Years? Yeah. Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! There you go. This is oh, all just yeah, fun. you're gonna yeah. you're gonna have to get yeah. some get rid of those purples. How freaking old am I? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're the oldest of them all here. I I know there's evidence. I don't want to believe it, but I I know there's evidence that reveals the time as students we lost. Two years, I could never lose. Yes, yeah, yeah, so you have to get rid of the purple I mean, before you. I haven't gone to any awesome school. Of Heck, I've never even gone to a single class. No, that's wrong. There's one nothing, chat. I was already on my like way. To take a look I'm doing it. <laughs> this notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. Wizza Wizza, is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. What the? This is absolutely my handwriting without a doubt. But how is this? I don't remember ever writing in this thing. No, no way. It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak. But somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies. It's all one big lie. I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. Hmm. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hiro, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> a 
After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here. Shit, man, I've never been to a funeral. Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance Oof. to build lasting friendships, Oof. right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most Makoto awful, actually most had tragic sex. event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do. But then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? In a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! <laughs> figure out... what? It's like Steve! <laughs> figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of all of this. Where our memories come apart. Is she talking about the moment where we must have lost our memories? I can only think of one time. Just after I set foot in the main hall of the main hall for the first time. And that was When was that? Um he fainted in class, I think. The moment I lost my memories, I can't think of any time other than that day. When I first came to the gates of this school and stepped foot in the main hall, when I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow, you still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? But it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense of time got all messed up because of the memory loss after that? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom with my head on a desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead... Damn. There are pictures of them together, so he probably the wasn't passed so out. Short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. You got it, honey. Two years of memories, poof, gone. Which means, of course, when everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that's what they reveal. You were all such close friends. You spent two years together. And then you started killing each other. And it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated. <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale. Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it. You're the one who set things up to be like this. I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. 
It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it. All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair. Our plan to bring despair to all mankind. The ultimate despair? All mankind? Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst. Everyone was enjoying themselves so much. You were all having the time of your life. What is up with Hifumi's eyelashes? They're so long. Why can't my eyelashes be like that? But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Tell us what it was already! All oh too my soon, God. the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. Oh my God. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know? It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then something super neat happened. Now pay attention, because this is important, and I'm only going to say it once. So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter. That's right. It was transformed into a shelter. Ah, I said it twice. Now... Someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The one who turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here. The Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Um, I see big, or I say big bullshit here. If they are the only people in the world that survived this shit, why the fuck would they broadcast it to the TV? So more despair. Uh -huh. Amongst yeah, who? But, yeah, they said that. If they, everyone is dead, there's no one who can watch. They didn't really exactly say that everyone's no, every, dead. They no, just they're, said they're that the, the world has fallen in, in despair. They're the only survivors in Hope's Peak Academy. Yeah. Ah. So of Hope's Peak Academy, of like all the classes, because at the time there were more than one. Time sticking, uh, Astra. Yeah. So at the time there was more than one um, class there, so of all the classes, they're the only survivors. I got it! It could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy! He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us! Hello, Kiku, hello! We have a new channel point reward if you'd like to try it out! And your own special despair. What do you mean by that? You already put me in that. When 
I, as the streamer, got two characters killed in the first chapter. You already did that. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. Oh, who'd you get, Nancy? Monokuma. Nice. That's why he asked us to make that promise. It stands for Make a Wish at Hope's Peak. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah. The headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. Host Peak is the school there. What's going on? Luex! Will someone shout out Luex for me, please? Guys, Luex is the person who made this wonderful, wonderful gotcha game. Please, please, please give. Oh, go up to the wax. Please. Ow, my arm. Ow. Please, how are you, the wax? How are you doing today? Yes, it looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> dear, dear, Miss Aria, world class meal. Delicious. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it's going off twice. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's going off twice for each redeem. That's really interesting. I don't know why it's doing that. Two for the prize of one. <laughs> no, it went off twice for you, Horizon. I tested it earlier too and it was fine. I don't know why suddenly it decided. It was fine before it broke. It worked the first two times, didn't it? And then it stopped oh, working. Yeah, it stopped working. And ever and since then, then it's had, been double reload. shooting. I had to reload it. I had to reload it. So I just closed it and then I just reopened the file. And Maybe it just really, really, really likes me. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. It only did one for him. <laughs> oh, oh, nope, there it goes again. There's a second one. Really, There's a second one. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean, we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it, and started bitching about how you were trapped in here! Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work! And thus began the killing game! Me and Mukuro have come here. Spending the last two years waiting for that moment. This is the real Junko, Kiku. This is the real Junko. The other one, the one that we met in the beginning, was her twin sister, Mukuro, pretending to be her. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan! 
And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You only let us live so we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them. Which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the wor outside world. That was... Hijack? Yeah, hijack the satellites. Now I understand. <laughs> Letters left two yanks. They gave us four. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax. That was what I was talking about! The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. Damn. You... expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take. Give and take? You're so full of shit! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies. I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when I you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth, full of despair. That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... we've been murdering each other? For nothing? Oh yeah, I guess they have, huh? This money means nothing. Your secrets mean nothing. And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. We get it. 
We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already! Bianca so hasn't said a single do damn word since oh since they told him about Tagami, and it's yeah, fucking he's... amazing. A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. Until you see it with your own eyes, truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that world and you're all goners for sure. Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this. Well, Lol, even if it's all trust true, me, says the mastermind. <laughs> I refuse to give in. I refuse to lose to you. For the sake of everyone you've killed. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them. I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. <laughs> That's the same as killing. Yeah, yeah, the only person she killed was technically the only person she actually killed was Nukra. <laughs> and the rest as well, that's just... If I give you a knife and tell you to stab someone, I'm just as guilty as you are. That's true. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant. Say what you want about hope. But we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally. Hell yes! <laughs> That's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us. It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories. Invented reasons for us to do it. You pushed us all into a corner! It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. We have to draw things to a close soon. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course. You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules. What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish Hope, well then, I'll consider that a win for me and punish everyone on the side of Hope. Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this. It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your punishment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, we just... We'd have to just live here? She's saying she'll let us live. If you're not happy with that... And then go ahead and punish me, and make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed. Wait a sec, I just got hit with an inspiration bomb. Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all. So, here's what'll happen. One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? You... Do you mean to say... You'll execute one of us? 
And I get to decide who's gonna have to suck it down. God damn it. Makoto, you're up. For me? Yeah. You've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble. I hate you. So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives. Sacrifice me? Alright, where's the button? Let me vote. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but that's... I'm not surprised. That's why I'm not surprised she'd be upset at Makoto. He did already kind of escape death once. That's true. Three times. Yeah, okay. but Makoto's been a bit of a thorn in her side. Yeah. What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? N no, that's not it. It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. So beautiful. Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> oh, that's a low blow. Kyoko, one person's despair is enough to seal your fate. Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? Hero. Level zero. Now, Hero's gonna vote to kill Junko because Junko took, her, uh, took his mushrooms. Oh, true, true, true. I'm gonna go with yeah. No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair. We're not gonna lose to you. So boring. Stubborn till the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life. The final vote. This is it, the ultimate confrontation. This is it, you guys. Hold on, let me stretchies. Stretchy. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. Eh, stretchies, ow. Ow. Oh, jeez, okay, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm okay, sorry, my, my arm hurts a little bit. I got my second, um, vaccine shot today, so. Everyone should get vaccinated if you haven't already, when you can. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. It's not really living at all. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> By the way, 
The air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Mm. If I oh, die, I see. the purifiers, in other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come oh, out. I see. I have to all grab of you will have to leave. You'll have, have to go into the world those. outside. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that... We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Don't lose hope now. All my fortune telling senses are telling me not to leave this place. But to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, do we? I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why, no matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. And that's right, a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> as long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end of it. I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, okay, so it us. the only reason is thanks to the air purity. <sighs> Don't lose hope now. I've been thinking about all this, and I was thinking, at a time like this, what would Sakura do? Punch her. only get stronger by pushing <laughs> adversity by the horns. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. Oh, we have 22 minutes That sounds like something that. she'd say, right? No. I think that's definitely what she'd say. Which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we'll never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I've decided to have th By the way, the air out the only reason we're is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. I've made my If I die, the purifiers will scream. In other words, as the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. Don't lose hope now. <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. Good job it's her they're dealing with and not I Toko. <laughs> You're about to try to talk Toko around from this shit? Oh, God. Oh, no matter what, Master has to come along with us. We won't give up. As long as there's hope, we will never give up. Jack is gonna be like, I don't fucking care, I can rebuild the family line anew. I don't have to fucking listen to my whatever my dad does. Yeah, Biaki is just like, ah, start over, I'll be with you. That'll be exactly what you do. Unpredictable. Almost guarantee it, yeah. Don't lose hope now. What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead. Because I'm still alive. There you go! I'm to restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known. So predictable. We won't give up. <laughs> as long yep. as there's hope, we will never give up. If I were to die, that would be the end. I, I've decided. By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all. I can keep on living. 
All of you will have to still have to go into the world outside. I already said I would claim the mastermind. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what to be you like want? the title here needs explained now. Don't lose the last one. <coughs> I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. I can't explain I why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just I mean, you guys could leave and just still abandon Makoto. Understand? You don't really need him anymore. <laughs> That's true. I mean, if, if the, the outside world is really fucked up, as they say, this bringing Makoto would be a good idea because we have like one meat shield. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. We're like one do over. Nah, clearly Kyoko just wants to actually continue on living. <laughs> she, she needs Makoto. Could it be that. No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true. I think we could call you the ultimate hope. What do you think? Oh what my the, god, don't give the all of the hope you? to this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh so my god. Your stupid faces, the stupid things you've said, the stupid way you all treat each other. It's all so uncool, so unhip. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Lame, lame. Well, they kind of elite it. Hopefully, anything. Hope isn't a talent to develop, but. But still. But I still. Oh god, not this one. That moment. The last one, honey! You got this! You I really suck. don't. What do you want? So uncool! You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke! Who are you? Your idiocy ends here. You're gross. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. You suck. What do you want? So uncool. You're unbearable. Hope is a joy. Who are you? Would you like to die? Gross. Suffer from despair. Everything is pointless. Suffer from despair. I just love despair. Oh god. Oh. Despair into tomorrow. Hope keeps on going. Oh my god. I knew you could do it. You're so wrong with that one. <laughs> Look at our combo. I refuse to give up. Amazing. Throw it all away! I refuse to despair! Because all I have going for me is the <laughs> desire to keep moving forward! I'm sorry, but it just sounds kind of sad! He's like, I have no redeeming qualities, this is all I have, man. <laughs> I have I no mean, redeeming qualities, yes. They, <laughs> yeah. I mean, thing I can do. one thing that Makoto has been really good at throughout the entire game is being and stubborn. That's true. That's true. And in the in the eye of despair, I mean, the stubbornness is probably just as bad as hope. What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> One C. We still got an A. It's fine. Okay, we got an A. It looks Yay. like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing with our own hands. Okay, while well, this little animation is playing, let me run in, grab my snack really quick. Because I need a snack during the last punishment. 
It's gonna be the last punishment, you guys. The hell? In this game? For this game, it's gonna be the last punishment. Ow, my arm hurts so much. Ow. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. You're fine. You're fine. Oh no, that was something I was supposed to say. <laughs> well, this isn't good. The hell? You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost? Me? N no way. Well, that's just. It can't be. Um... Yeah, you still don't accept it? Hmm. Hmm. Even the ultimate despair herself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair. It would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now. Well, that's just... <laughs> That's a new face. <laughs> that is a new face there. That is a new face that we have not mm -hmm. seen before. Okay. Junko over here getting all of the sprites. Oh yeah, there are so many. God, I love her so much. Huh? So this is despair. We came to the school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. And now I... To come this far and fail at the very end? True despair. It's the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking about? And now I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this so desperately. This once in a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste of the highest grade despair, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair? <sighs> I am so hopelessly happy right now. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? Yes, anyway. you know, yes she is. <laughs> anyway, so are you prepared to admit defeat? <laughs> <laughs> you think I care whether I won or lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing. Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you. That's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. Okay. Because we've decided to enter the outside world with hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makoto totally seduced us over to his side. <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah, bah! Everyone. If it wasn't midnight, I would definitely try to do that laugh. You said that despair is as contagious as any disease. However. But the same is true for hope. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. 
Kyoko! Uh, no, no, no! Ah, oh, stop it! Stop! I hate those faces you're making! You seen yours? To see those awful looks cause me to mean nothing but pain. There's one last thing. Fine. Let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned. From this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope. But there's very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Of course, because we... It's fine, it's fine. Shut up, shut up, that was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. <laughs> I'm almost done though, so... Whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time. Right? It can't be. Do you really intend to go through with this? I can't believe... Arya, I can't believe you brought back my favorite character just to kill her off then. <laughs> it's not me doing it. I mean, those despair eyes are going really wild right now. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming you. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. That was the agreement, right? Hold on. It's not like I want you to die. You don't have to. Hana, hello. Hello, Hana. <laughs> Welcome, we are finishing up Dang It Run, but we are on the very, very last endgame. Dang It Run, Yeah, you can tell we're at the very end because the, because the op proper yeah. OP music is playing, yeah. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! What? brings me no hope at all. <laughs> all I want now is to taste that despair of death that you only get once in life, so... Don't get in my way! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love hope. So this is how the despair of death feels. It's so wonderful! Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. I've reserved an extra special punishment for last. Let's give it everything we've got. Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> My eye flatters. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> I love how this one doesn't get dragged away. It's just like, yeah, let's walk. Oh, look at Alyssa. It's punishment time. Oh my god, it's every single one of them. It's every single punishment. Mm -hmm. The ultimate punishment. The thousand blasts. <laughs> oh my god. Death. She's just chilling. The burning of the Versailles Witch. Excavator destroyed. Blast off! After school lesson. Oh, I just want to point out, she's been fine after all of this, still. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Okay. 
that's your dad. That's really sad. Bro, I, I, I said kudos to her. She went through all of that without fucking... <laughs> And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Enoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Chapter 6. The end. Surprise! Chapter 7. Save the mana for my hair tie, brother. Do you want to save the data? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. But even after saying it, it was all over. It's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. What emo is that? <laughs> that is a sip oh. gone wrong. That is coffee right in the face. <laughs> oh, it's Chronicles. Oh, it's Chronicles. Oh, that's a scary one, though. That's a scary. I thought it was a spider. I don't know. Is that a spider? I thought it was a spider on Toby's face first. For a second. I thought it was a spider. I thought it was a spider and got spooked. <laughs> well, with one exception. Who has hiccups? The, the air purifier is turned off. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Epilogue, goodbye, despair high school. We left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck here in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But in the end, We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Makoto, would you do the honors? Uh, okay. As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But what? Is that really it? Is that really... the key to the store? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. On the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out, she said that just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... <sighs> but uh, you never know. Maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct. I mean... Juko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive. It's true. You may be right about that. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. But even so... 
It's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. Uh, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess that's true. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to worry about! My beautiful scissors! If something ever happened to Master, I take my scissors and jam them so far up! <laughs> 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 Huh? Uh, hey, where's the courtroom? Where's the mastermind? Ah, it's all over. We're just about to leave the school. What? L leave? We can go outside? <laughs> that, that means me and master can get married? And then he'll give me a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't even have this. It, it was, it straight up, he was just, he, he just said it. That's enough. <laughs> Get me. <laughs> Please stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway. Anyway. Don't worry, I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But... It's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, at the end I... I think part of me still thinks... For serious? Maybe. When we get out of here, we'll see that, uh... Everything she said about the world was a lie. Right on the other side of this door is, is the world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um... Uh, yeah, I guess so. And, how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world's really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair no matter what. But there also has to be lots of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope to try and find it, that by itself is, that that is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward, no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Y yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. <sighs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Jinko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. Entertain, hello, welcome. <laughs> We're just finishing up the game. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the, 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 the Togomi dynasty. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You, you have the ultimate secretary right here, <laughs> Diakia. Well, my first stop is gonna be the closest donut shop. I can oh, figure God. out the rest from there. <laughs> what are you gonna do if there are no more donut shops or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one. Creation. Fate is telling me to remake the world. Yeah, it's going really good. How's it coming with you? How are you doing, Entertain? And how is everyone in chat doing, actually? Could it be... That's my hope. 
How about that? I've reached the next stage. The next chapter of Yasuhiro Hagakure's life story is about to begin. <laughs> Thanks, Hina. You've totally opened up my eyes. I'm sorry, but with that woo he just did and the fact that his finger is under his nose, I... <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what did you just do? <laughs> Hey. Just want to point out he reacted to the word wheat. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm. very true. True. Yep. <laughs> hey, person with space. Buddy. Oh, did he smack? <laughs> he touched Hina somewhere or got close to Hina. <laughs> You're seriously creeping me out. I was I was about I was about to jokingly say he like probably slapped Hina on the ass. Come on, Wait. Makoto. <laughs> Don't stare at Hiro's hand on Hina's ass, please. Even if everyone in the outside world is gone. Even if the world is steeped in despair. <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can face forward and keep moving because I know it could always be worse. I could always be Makoto. And, 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 and all of this, I'm like, I think Kyoko's just, all this time, Kyoko's always been there for Makoto and everything. I'm just like, Kyoko just straight up wants to be with Makoto. And also, I always have faith. Always. It's like... If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us, and we're so small. So what can we do? No, we can probably do anything. Yeah, we can do anything. Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey! If we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. A story about the master and me, and the others, I guess. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still, it does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we mm -hmm. graduated? Looks like I hope know. really is spreading. That is the happiest and determined I've seen Makoto. <laughs> no, he breaks off the antenna because he's stupid and they are stuck there forever. Just as long as I never give up. That'd be hilarious. I have to push even harder. That'd be hilarious, but I would be so in character. I'm going to keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. That's not good in your team. Well, hopefully your um, work issues get sorted out soon. And hopefully you get home soon as well. The world can move ahead. The door began to open with my hands, with our hands. Hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. Jokes on you is the fucking sun, you're all eviscerated. <laughs> Here comes the sun, da 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 da. <laughs> I'm going outside for lunch now, being a bad. 
Okay, Lomax, thank you very much. Um, can we get one last shout out to Lomax, please? And of course, they don't tell us what is out there. That's game. That's crazy. <clears throat> Uh, that is a little bit more. Um, in the meantime, can we get shout Yeah, I recognize that name. Um, to everyone. Please, um, thank you to Horizon, and to Hugo, and to Deadly, and to Arya for being with me and helping me out and um, you know, just, yeah, help up and help, I appreciate it. Why? Why? Uh, yeah. Pergus once again gets caught by a bomb. <laughs> Mission success. Oh, well, Cookie got caught too, and Tomo mm -hmm. also got caught. And Matt also. <laughs> Thank you, Anderson. Thank you very much. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Thank you very much. Thank oh, yes, you. that's CG. <laughs> <laughs> I can't skip it or anything, so we're just gonna chill here. I mean, that's fine. That's what I do with credits. I just watch the credits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually I do watch the credits as well. It's literally, it's like the one thing you can do for the devs. Mm -hmm. Everyone that worked on it. I love the art style. Oh yeah, it's definitely... That's one of the things I actually really like about doing I'm not by is the art style. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing. And they don't compromise it either as you go through the games. Because they kind of update a bit, especially when we get to number three. Because okay. it's kind of newer, it's more... Oh, number, yes, th fantastic. number three is more gamey. Like, oh dear god. Oh dear god. But, I'm scared already. Oh, don't be. We've got to get through number two first. Number two has pets. I love that one of Sakura just punching a fish. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that cute figures. Oh, I love it. Oh. I love her so much. I love her so much. She's my favorite character. Junjun's amazing. I knew she was amazing. Even when it wasn't even her. Even when it wasn't even her, I knew. Yep, that's a dead dad. Hello. I don't remember seeing it. <laughs> and because that is condition specific, so there are certain presents that if you have them at certain points during the game, it sets we've off had... special have scene. We not had the bath scene. I think no, we might have. We've had the ba We've had two bath scenes. They were both with the guys. <laughs> Mm -hmm. No, I think we've had the girls as well because I remember. Yeah, we had the girls. Who was it falling in the in in the pool or in the bath? I don't remember it. <laughs> yeah, well, in any case, throughout all of them, yeah, there are certain presents where if you have one at a certain point, someone will pop up and say, or it will suddenly go, "Hey, we could do this," and if you say yes, you get like a special scene. Oh, so it's worth getting as many presents as you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we also never actually stopped her time while we could get presents, though. 
which is unfortunate. We should try to do that more often. <laughs> I mean, you guys were planning oh. to do that between oh. streams. What is this? <laughs> yeah, but oh, like, after chapter two, we like, never stopped at a point where we were in free time. Yeah. Like, I would try to go to the store, but Makoto would say something like, Oh, we have to go here right now. Or, oh, I don't like, think I, this I... is this. Like, it won't let you go into the thing. It, there's uh, a bit more freedom in the second one, though, so we shouldn't have that issue. Okay, that's good. This is... <laughs> interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. <laughs> mm. Like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Headmaster. Well, okay then. <laughs> you see the Easter egg present. Do you want to save? Yes, I would like to save. And that is it. That is it. That we is Trigger Happy Hour. Now, I shall give you all half a second to sit in the wonderful, wonderful hope before I plunge you all back into despair by telling you two things. The first is that this is the game in which the most people survive. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. The second so... is that what is the tragedy, you ask? You don't find out the basics until game two, and if you want to know everything, <laughs> not until the anime, which, unless you want serious spoilers for game two, you can't watch until we finish game two. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I don't worry. I told I told Cookie. I'm like, don't worry. We're finishing the first game tonight, and she's like, oh, so we can actually watch. We finally finished the first season. <laughs> well, the despair arc and the future arc uh, end up the Hope's Peak saga. But if you watch those before you play game number two, you're gonna have a bunch of spoilers, like all the spoilers. So. I would recommend. <laughs> I will say though that um, the the only other game that comes the game that becomes between this one and number two is um, Ultra Despair Girls, which is um, Makoto's baby sister and Toko slash genocide show, um, and it's like a shooter puzzle kind of game. And all of that happens between the two. So if anyone does want to go do those, I don't think we're plan we're not gonna we're not planning on doing it like on stream or anything, because it's kind of filler. Yeah. It's meant to be awesome. I haven't even played it yet. I'm planning on it, I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh boy. But yes, that was the first game. <laughs> yeah bye. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. This is good. Aya, thank you very much. Deadly, thank you very much. Rukun, thank you very much for rising. For joining me. Um, we will be starting a game either... <laughs> oh, oh, that's cute. Um, either next week or the week after, um, I'm gonna discuss with everyone in case we want a, a break. Because we've been going to, uh, pretty much weekly for a while, so. Uh, but it's either gonna be next week or the week after, I'll keep you all updated. And then, y'all will be starting game two, and Leo will be joining us for, um, game two as when well. When he's awake, yes. When he's awake. <laughs> yeah, when he's awake and available, he'll be joining us for game two, so. It'll be lots of fun. Lots of fun. Okay. My, I'm excited. My YouTube isn't working for some for some reason. So we're just gonna keep playing the game music until That works. <laughs> I mean you were you were playing game basically the soundtrack at the beginning. That's true. And 
streaming or not we'll see i don't have anything planned as of yet so probably not but we'll when you meant to be doing among us yeah but i don't know if we'll have enough people so ah, okay well we'll, we'll see <laughs> <laughs> no. so um so yeah and then friday we will be doing uh, Apex, yeah, we'll be doing Apex, so we'll be lots of fun. Pew pew! Pew pew! I'm gonna be horrible at it. Brand's gonna carry me, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then Saturday is Minecraft, so... It'll be lots of fun. I will see you all later. Thank you all very much for joining me. Good night. Bye bye.